Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Kitty and for today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize my Galaxy Foam theme. First of all, this is my Dreamy Craft Shop phone case. We don't currently offer custom cases, but we do release every other Saturday. All of these phone charms are available on our website. I will leave a link for each one. We will start with my lock screen <laughs> sorry this is a chi from the anime chobits all i did was google chi chobits and i set the image i liked most as my lock screen the phone i have is a galaxy s20 i will show you first the theme that i use since that's what i get asked about the most so i go to my <laughs> wrong one i go to my galaxy themes Click here and click my stuff. This is the theme I am currently using. This is what everything looks like. I hope that's easy to find. So the wallpaper is my own wallpaper and all of these widgets I made myself. I will show you how to do that now. These widgets here with the bear shape face are part of the theme <laughs> sorry are part of the theme so the theme kind of looks like this this is the what the dial pad looks like these are what the text messages would look like this is what your gallery will look like so it's all pink really cute these are what the icons that come with the theme look like like the um, galaxy icons and this is how I've organized my folders but all of the app icons have these little bear face. Okay, so first I'll show you how to make custom icons. I made all these icons myself. I used an app that is called Awesome Icons. So once you download the app, all you have to do is long hold it on your screen, click widgets, and then look for the awesome icons. This one click here and you will be using a shortcut you long hold shortcut and drag it to where you want it first you select which app you want it to start so like let's say I wanted it to start the Chrome app and then here you can pick what image you want for the icon I click picture click here and then I go to my gallery and I will click like let's say this one little Kurila Kuma penguin image I would choose crop how I want it and then I would choose crop. here I would choose what I want to call it I will leave it as chrome add a little heart and say okay and that's what it will look like and from here you just long hold it and you can move it anywhere you want and if you press this it will launch the chrome app Now I will show you how to do these images I have here. This one is just an image that I downloaded from Google. This is a sleepy time or bedtime Rila Kuma. You will use long hold and you will click widgets. And the app I used is called Photo Widget. I will show you in the theme shop, I mean in the Play Store, what it's called. So you click here and then it will say your recent images. You will click same as the icons. Go to gallery, choose which image you want, we'll go to download, and I, uh, let's say I wanted this chief photo. Then I would click save, and then here it would appear. You can move this to make it bigger or smaller. <clears throat> now for these little plushy icons, it's very easy for them. I used an app called, click here, background eraser. So, let's just delete this to move this out of our way, as well as this. Oh, sorry, everybody. Remove them home. And it's one of these little plushies, and you can just move them around. So to make one of these, it's the same thing as we did earlier with the image, but instead we will be using an image that is a PNG image, meaning that the background is clear. So I will show you, I have a few here, in a special folder. 
background eraser. Which one is it? Oh, right here, eraser. And this is where I have some of mine that I've removed the background from. We can select this one. See, the background is clear. Press save. And the background is clear. So whatever background you have will show up. So if I move this down here, then it'll be a clear background. And to make these, like I said, I use the background eraser app. Awesome. This is how you use it. You click load a photo. You pick a, an image. I googled, you know, Sanrio plush, Rilakkuma plush. Like this one. And then I would click auto and I would click where the background is, like there. And you see how it took a, away a lot of her? Then you would go to the repair button zoom in make this like as big or small as you want the brush and then you would just move over the parts that you want to reappear and so you would just do it like this until you were happy with it now if you see like some of the background is coming back and we don't want it that's when you would use the erase tool that I think it's this magic one and you can make this bigger or smaller to get into smaller spaces so then I would start here and you see how it erases it and you just keep doing this until you have exactly what you want this image was a little harder to do since the background is white and the plush is white but usually if it has a dark background like black or something this will be a lot easier so I'm not going to go in and complete this whole thing. I'm just going to do this sort of messy so you can see what I mean. So when you're done and you've got it where you want it, you will click done. And this is messy, but yeah, you would go in and do it exactly. This will feather it out so it doesn't have to be super perfect because the edges would be feathered. So it won't be too sharp. Then you click save. And from there, it'll be in that folder we just talked about. So then you can go to widgets, photo widget. And it'll be right there in the recent images. Save. And there goes the plushie we just made. I hope that was easy enough. Now we'll delete these to make more room. For the clock widget. Yes, this is also a widget. So you would hold down. Widgets. And I will show you all the widgets at the end in the Galaxy Store so you know what, how to look for them. And you would find clock. It's this one. And you pick, you pick how you want the clock to look. I believe I picked this digital clock. You hold it down and drag it. Now background white or background black. I did white, background transparency 100%. See, so that you can see the wallpaper behind it. And then just click back in the widget and there it goes. Now you can click into the settings of this. Oh no, I guess I chose a different one. Oh yeah, because you can click into the settings of this. Just click it. No, it took me to my clock. I will show you how you can click into the settings and change all of the colors there. Now I can't find this widget on my phone. There are other widgets like that where I can't find the actual icon to show it to you. So I will go to my Play Store. And then I will go to um, My Apps and Games, and I will go find it in my installed app. So this is what it's called, Digital Clock Widget by Maze. So you can see what it looks like if you want to use it. And I will just open it from here. See, this is what it looks like, what I got it to look like from editing it. So you can click here the background color that you would want, and I put transparent. Uh, if you want to center it vertically, where to align it, the text shadow, like the colors. Okay, see? shadow or no shadow all of these settings and in the appearance right here the color I chose this blue color the time format everything you can edit here and that's what it will look like on your widget so that's it for customizing my phone this is my son and this is his name in case you were wondering and that's what it looks like uh, wait let me show you the widgets of course like I mean all of the apps. This is the photo widget I use and it's by a company called Fisker. We also used an app for the icons called Awesome Icons. Here it is. And it is by a company called Momo Apps. 
the background eraser app is by a company called Handy Closet Ink. And I believe those are all of the apps we used. I hope that was helpful. If you want to see any more detailed views of any of this, just let me know and I'll be happy to record. Or if you want to see different themes of your favorite characters, this is the one I'm currently working on for the new Rilakkuma Dino theme. I can do any character you'd like, or like I said, just a more detailed version. Let me know and I'll be happy to help. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Bye!